A lot of New Mexicans are lining up to make sure their voice is heard this election. Showing a high voter turnout is a great way to show our politicians that we're expecting to hold them accountable. Because it's an important election for our democracy. Because what we've been through is embarrassing. It should never have happened. That's all I have to say. This is what it looked like this morning at the county's only open early voting center. I think we're going to have record numbers in this turnout and people need to be patient because there'll be lines. People we talked to in line didn't seem to mind. I want it counted now. I don't want it lost someplace else. Even though it's busy, it still went really quickly. I'd rather vote in person so it's counted immediately. But a record number of New Mexicans aren't voting in person. Instead, they're voting absentee through the mail system. Many people are voting by absentee because of their concern with COVID. And it's also a very convenient way of voting. With 19 days left to go before the election, 72,000 New Mexicans have already mailed in their absentee ballots. In the last presidential election, more than 76,000 voted. KOAT political analyst Brian Sanderoff said he believes the state is going to set a record for voter turnout. Really, the lines are drawn between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Most people have very strong opinions about them. And so as a result of that, I think we have lots of voter interest and could have record-breaking turnout. Right now, you can cash your early vote at the county clerk's office in Bernalillo County. Later on this week, 17 early voting polling locations will be open. You can find out where at nmvote.org.